I'm not crazy. In the past, I thought maybe. There's Ben Trigg, who is basically the musical director, because we all kind of look to him when we're like, was that good? Should we do something else there? Like, he is so on it. He's a multi instrumentalist. I brought him on as a cello player and a bass player. He's just so easy and lovely to be around. Then there's Allie, who is Uncle Allie. My daughter calls him Uncle Allie. I've known Allie for like 15 years now. He's a brother to me. Here he's playing this beautiful old Steinway, like I mentioned from the 70s. Then we have James Bernardus. He's got such a feel to him. Like he really makes everything feel so soulful. And he didn't come as much from that like rootsy Americana. Like when I first met him, he wasn't as familiar with the kind of like soupy train beat stuff, but he really brought that like English Northern soul feel to it. Kind of makes you want to push a little bit harder, you know? So she actually trained me on my first train shuffle groove back when I was 25. Didn't know how to play that kind of thing. <laughs> Never really listened to Kenny Cash or, you know, yeah, education big time. Then we have Dave Page. I still maintain he's the best that I've heard in the world. He's got this like Jimi Hendrix feel and then he can go into this finger picking kind of John Prine thing. He's so humble about it all. He's like, does this work, boss lady? You know, and it's just, I mean, he's so good. And I love his voice. I stuck him in front of one of the U47 mics the other day and I was like, just wail. And he looked really scared of me. He's like, I'm scared. And I was like, just do it. And he did it, it was great. It was absolutely great. Then he's got his fiance, Hannah, who's heavily pregnant. In all honesty, I hardly ever bring on somebody to do BVs because, you know, I have limited resources and I'm trying to kind of figure out what the best use of the, the time and budget is, and then it suddenly occurred to me, like, Hannah would be a wonderful addition, but I hadn't ever heard our voices blend together. When we got here, we just kind of bundled into the, the top room with the piano, sang through some bits, um, tried some harmonies out. Because we really want everything to be this very rootsy feel, where it's like in a room together. They were like, you're having too much fun in the control room, because we're just in here cackling away and just having the greatest time. The band is full of absolute monster musicians. Yeah, it's just so good, so comfortable. There's no kind of red light stress or like we're recording now, let's go. Um, it's just really comfortable, family vibes, lots of fun. Which gives them a bit a lot of freedom, which is uh, very rare. One of the really lovely things about Mel, as well as being this you know, incredible artist, just, just one of the lads. And then of course, Matt doing engineering and Blaine as well. I mean, they're just, you know, they're, they're really pulling it out. It's like being around a campfire with your friends and going, I've got a song, what do you yeah. want? You, you play on it as well. Okay then, yeah. <laughs> what am I playing on? A Steinway? Fine, that's, that'll do. <laughs> it's a total joy for, for all of us, really, because we're just left to be ourselves, which is, which is what you want when you're a musician, just to be, be yourself. Yeah.